I'm going to tell you guys the most important thing and the something which is really important to understand by us. Like you know, uh, the Muslim God blame. The Muslim God blame that that's a religion within which actually there is no justice. There is no love. There is no relation. If you love the Muslim in a country, if you love the migration of the Muslim to a country, you are doing something about a back sin. You are doing something, you know, bad with your country. So you don't have to allow them. Many people in many countries it's been done. But I want to make it clear, guys. Islam, what does it mean by Islam? Let's see. Islam means to submit all your willings and all your desire and everything to oppress them and to go within the life just by the permission of the one creator. That's called Islam. The creator, which make some kind of boundaries for you that you can't go outside of these boundaries. And if you cross the boundary, there's no possibility for you to be still remain a true and a best Muslim. First of all, you have to accept that there is one creator. Other than one creator, there is no creator. And the Prophet Muhammad in peace and blessing be upon him as the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you accept these all the things, that's first shahada, then you become a Muslim. Submitting all your wellings to the one creator, which is the creator of the whole humanity, is called Islam. So, does our creator and that our creator thought of something really which go against of the, you know, mindset and against of the, uh, you know, uh, normal life activities what we are basically doing and going through is it going against of these all the uh, generally how to treat the people isn't mentioned in the quran every part which is important in the human life of being mentioned in the holy quran and the hum a holy quran bear witness for these all the stuff how to treat with a person how to think about another person what to do for other is there any kind of racism? No. Within the Quran, no possibility of racism. Because it's been cleared that those people which are showing their degree or something like, you know, another person, these people are not liked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah like those people which are sincere and obeying the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let me clear some doubts. There's many doubts, you know, many Indian Hindus people, many worldwide, you know, uh, not many around the world because today the world is aware of the reality, what's really happening within the world and what's really the reality behind the scene as. So it's been clear through the social media, but still there are some doubts. And the Indian people thinks, uh, thinks that actually the Muslim or terrorists, the Muslim or the people of racism are like that but almost every you know uh, almost many many Indian believes that a Muslim are terrorist because of the social media all the Indian what they do actually and what they did most of the movies which they are actually you know they are making they're showing the Muslim as a terrorist within these all but in actually the reality is totally different Whenever the Muslim, uh, whenever the Indian come into a trouble, the Muslim being helped, the Muslim sang the help, and not just to the Indian, but around the world. And the Muslim even raise voice for the justice for them. And now the whole, oh, actually everybody believe upon that. You may stay with a Muslim around the world. You guys are watching my video. So you may stay. You know, you may be in stay with some Muslim, with many peoples around the world, and many times met with many people around the world. And whenever I just ask, and you know, we come to a metal kind of conversation, to the met of conversation, and they ask me some kind of question. I told them, I'm telling them many times, it's been happened. I told them, and I asked them, is it true, bro? Did you been with a Muslim? Did you been with a Muslim in your life? 
They're telling me, of course, I've been. Because there is 1.9 billion Muslim around the world, which is actually too much close to the Christianity. And inshallah, within 20 50 Islam will be the top religion and the first uh, and on the top of you know all the religions it should be the number one religion and 2050 we have believed up there so within the Quran what's been mentioned they actually they're telling me yeah we've been with the Muslim they are hospitable people they are loving people they are the people which are friendly these people are really you know inspiring and many people like you guys can see many people being you know visited there to the Pakistan and being a tourist and you know they've been accept Islam by seeing by watching all the hospitality all the modesty all the love of the all the respect and everything whatever happening happened with them within the Pakistan and finally they've been accepted accepted Islam and I can show you guys many people like them and not just to the Pakistan I I I've been watch many videos of many people which been accepted Islam and they are expressing their thoughts in the interviews many times you know that I've been visited to this country that country of the Muslim and when I just see everything I accept Islam so what's there what's next so now let's come to the holy quran what's been mentioned in the holy quran and what has mentioned in the holy quran within the holy quran it has been cleared you know by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you kill one human being one innocent human being it's just like you kill the whole humanity and if you prevent the life of one human beings from threats as just like that you prevent from the threats the whole humanity that's been mentioned in the whole Quran so should we do something against the holy Quran we are the only people on the face of the earth which believe on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which believe on one creator which believe on the holy Quran deeply much more than any holy books around the world you guys can uh, take it and you know can open that and can see the history is beware of that everybody believe within the world that the Quran is the only book and the Muslim are the only people which are really deep with their religion and which are really deep by accepting all the truth what's been mentioned in their book their whole book and that's been mentioned in the holy book and if you want to make any kind of objection, you can give me any kind of reason that, yeah, within the Quran it's been mentioned, so you guys are terrorists. No, there's no possibility of finding 100% I'm agree. I'm agree that there's no possibility of finding any kind of error or something like that, which showing the Muslim as a terrorist. Maybe there's many doubt to you guys because of the mess you know guidelines you have to you have to see a uh, best and a great teacher for your own self and then you have to learn the holy quran from them and make all the doubts get clear there should be no doubt for you to make up to them there so the first thing was that you know that the muslim are not terrorists and the second thing is the muslim are not racist because and the time of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him when the prophet was reached to you know uh, was in their deathbed the prophet muhammad peace be upon him taught us that there is no degree of a white person or a black person there is no degree of a rich person or the poor person but those with a human being are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which are sincere and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so now you guys can see what I am saying you guys have to realize you guys have to move forward you guys have to search for that I'm having any kind of doubt you guys can ask me that was some kind of information for my side now you guys if you guys like my video please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon and also click the like button to support me and encourage me for further videos inshallah see you next time assalamu alaikum